Hello, everyone. This is our set of the day. It says you are given a table in which four drinks are available and the data is about different components, different uh, ingredients in these four drinks. Vitamin B12, caffeine, sugar, taurine, etc. And their percentage values are given here. Their percentage values are given, right? The cost in liters per uh, rupees per liter for these four drinks is given to be D1, D2, D3, D4 is given to be 10 rupees, 25 rupees, 20 rupees and 15 rupees respectively per liter. Now two drinks can be mixed in any ratio to produce a drink that contains the ingredients in the required ratio. Right. So we have these four questions with us. Let us solve them one by one. Let us write down the cost of each and every drink. So the first one D1 has a cost of 10 rupees per liter. D2 has a cost of 25 rupees per liter. D3 has 20 rupees per liter and D4 has 15 rupees per liter. Now, the first question says, if a drink is to be prepared containing at least 25% of caffeine and uh, at the minimum cost, then the ratio of in which any two drinks should be mixed to get that required drink is. So, let us uh, see what could be the ratios. Right, it needs 25% caffeine. So if I look at the table of caffeine, uh, in D1 caffeine is 20%, in D2 35%, in D3 20%, D4 30%. Now if I need caffeine to be 25%, remember I need to mix two ingredients say A and B and by mixing them the required uh, concentration of caffeine should be 25%. Then the rule of allegation says that in one ingredient, in one uh, drink, the uh, caffeine should be less than 25% and in the other, it should be more than 25%. Now, remember, let's say there are two ingredients A and B. In ingredient A, let's say, uh, or I should say that there are two drinks A and B. In the drink A, uh, it is 10%. In the drink B, it is 20%, right? Caffeine in the first drink is 10%. In the second drink B, it is 20%. Now, if you combine these two, you can never get value 25%. This is the weighted average. This is the rule of weighted average, which says that when you are combining these two results, the net result has to be somewhere between in, in, in these two. So if you are combining 10% and 20%, the net result would be somewhere between 10 and 20. It cannot be 25. Similarly, if you are having two in, uh, drinks A and B, where in the first drink, let's say caffeine is 30%. In the second, it's let's say 40%. Again, the uh, result uh, in what ratio, whatever ratio you mix them, the end result is that you will never get 25%. You cannot get 25%, right? The value will lie somewhere between 30% and 40%. So if you need 25% by combining, by uh, mixing two drinks, that means that in one drink, the uh, caffeine percentage should be less than 25%. And in the second, it should be more than 25%. So that the end result should be that uh, the value should lie between uh, these two uh, percentage values. For example, if I say that A has 20% caffeine and B has say 35% caffeine, right? Now, in this case, I can combine the two to get my desired value. <clears throat> because in this case, if in the ingredient, in the drink A, caffeine is 20% in B, it is 35%. Then if it is 25% here, so by rule of allegation, this will be 10, this will be 5. So I need to mix them in the ratio 2 is to 1. So this is the basic concept for this question. Now, it says we need 25% caffeine. So I can see that if I need 25% caffeine, I need one value more than 25% and the other uh, less than 25%. That means I can mix the drinks D1 and D2. D1 and D2 can be mixed. Or D2 and D3 can be mixed right or d3 d4 can be mixed also d1 and d4 can be mixed d1 and d1 d4 can be mixed 
So these are the possible drinks that can be mixed in order to get the 25% caffeine. <clears throat> I cannot mix D1 and D3. Now the next part is the least cost. The, uh, the cost should be the least one. Now the cost are for D1 the cost is 10 rupees per liter. For uh, D2 it is 25 rupees per liter. Next it is 20 and the last one is 15. Now, if I look at the least cost, the least cost is 10 and 15. And that happens if I combine D1 and D4. That means to get the least cost, I need to combine D1 and D4. Then I will get the least cost per unit. Now, D1 and D4. In the D1, the caffeine is 20%. In D4, it is 30%. And I need 25%. So if I use the rule of allegation here, the value comes out to be 5, 5, difference are 5, I and 5 or the ratio comes out to be 1 is to 1. So answer is option number 3. Now this is the second question. It says which two drinks and in what ratio should be mixed to get 27% concentration of taurine. Now we need taurine in the uh, we need 27% uh, concentration of taurine and to get the 27% concentration of taurine, uh, one should be, one drink should be uh, having the less than 27% of taurine and the other should have more than 27% of the taurine. That means we cannot combine D2, D3. Either we can combine D1 and D3, okay, or we can combine D1 and D2 or we can combine D3 and D4 or we can combine D, D2 and D4. So these are the possible combinations. So let's say if we combine D1 and D3, if I combine D1 and D3, now D1 has 25% taurine, D3 has 30% taurine. So net end result is 27. So ratio would be 3 is 2. Uh, 2, right? Ratio would be 3 is to 2. So D1, D3 in the ratio 3 is to 2. That is given in the option number 2. So D1, D3 can be uh, mixed in ratio 3 is to 2. Obviously, uh, with this, the uh, option number 3 gets rejected. The ratio is the reverse of the of what it should be. Next, D2 and D3. Option 4 says D2 and D3. Now, D2 and D3 both have to be in 30%. So if you combine them in any ratio, you will get 30%. So fourth option will not be the answer. Now let's check whether D1, D2 can be combined in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Although D1, D2 can be combined. Remember, D1 has 25% perine, D2 has 30% perine, so they can be combined. But is the ratio 2 is to 3? That is the main question, right? So again, D1, D2, D1, D2. D1 has perine 25, D2 has 30%. Obviously, you will get the same ratio as in the D1, D3. So ratio again would be 3 is to 2. Although D1, D2 can be combined, but the ratio would be 3 is to 2. So that means answer number 1 is again incorrect. So right answer is option number 2. Now, this question says, what would be the least possible cost in rupees per liter of a drink that contains at least 30% of vitamin B12, vitamin B12, right? So, we need to find the least possible cost in rupees per liter of the drink that contains at least 30% of vitamin B12. Now to get 30% vitamin B12, at least 30% vitamin B12, one value should be less than 30% and the other should be more than 30%. That means D4 is definitely required because only this value is greater than 30%. So D4 is definitely required. It has 45% of uh, vitamin B12. The second value could be 20%, could be 15%, could be 25%. All these values will be satisfied. If I take D1, even then I can make D, uh, I can make uh, a drink which contains 30% of vitamin B12. If I take D2, even then I will get the, uh, I, I can get the concentration of vitamin B12 as 30% in the drink. If I take D3 again, I can make the drink, right? But the problem is that question is asking for the least possible cost. And since we are already using D4 and for the least cost, if I look at the cost, uh, the D1 is the drink which has the least cost. So that means with D4, I should mix D1. 
D1 has 25% concentration of uh, vitamin D, uh, B12. So if I use the rule of allegation here, the ratio will be 5 and 4, 15, the ratio would be 3 to 1. So 3 to 1 would be the ratio. So that means D1 and D4, they need to mix in the ratio 3 to 1. That means I need 3 units of D1, 1 unit of D4. Now for 3 units of D1, the cost per, per liter is, cost per liter for D1 is 10 rupees per liter. So for 3 liters, the total cost would be 30 rupees. And for D4, the cost of 1 liter is 15 rupees. So I need only 1 liter here, so cost would be 1 into 15, 15 rupees. So total cost would be 30 plus 15, that is 45 rupees. So total cost is 45 rupees. This is the total cost. And question is asking, cost per liter, since I am taking 3 liters for D1 and 1 liter of D4, so total volume is 4 liters. So total cost per liter will be, in this case, cost per liter will be 45 divided by 4. And this will give me my answer as 11.25 rupees per liter, given in the option number 4. Let us move on to the next one now. Now this question says that we need 25% uh, vitamin B12 and caffeine both. 25% both vitamin B12 as well as caffeine. That is required now. Right, that is required. And what is the least possible cost? So I need 25% vitamin b12 and caffeine and the cost required is again the least one and the least cost is for drinks d1 and d4 now if i take the drinks d1 and d4 i can see that in both the drinks uh vitamin b12 is 25 percent in uh, d1 and in d4 it is 45 percent so that means if i combine these two drinks in any ratio in any uh, ratio if i combine these two drinks I will definitely get vitamin B12 more than 25%. Since in one it is 25%, in the other it is 45%. So the net value would be somewhere between 25% and 45%. Right? So net value will be between 25% and 45%. So <clears throat> if I combine D1 and D4, I will definitely get vitamin B12 and uh, vitamin B12 more than uh, 25%. Right? Now let's see about the caffeine. Now in D1, the caffeine is 20%, in D4, it is 30%. So 20% and 30% and in the uh, final mixture, I need it to be 25%. That means the ratio should be, the difference is, a, is coming out to be five, is to five, is, uh, 5 and 5. So ratio would be 1 is to 1. So if the ratio is 1 is to 1, that means these two drinks need to be combined in the ratio 1 is to 1. That means if I take 1 liter of D1 and 1 liter of D4, and if I combine them, I will definitely get caffeine uh, exactly 25% and vitamin B12 more than 25%, right? So the cost is 10 rupees and 15 rupees respectively. So for D1, it will be 10 rupees. For D4, it will be 15 rupees. So net cost comes out to be 25 rupees. This is a total cost. This is a total cost, right? The question is asking for the cost per liter. The cost per liter would be, cost per liter is 25 total cost divided by total volume. Now total volume in this case is 2 liter. So this is 12.5 rupees per liter. Answer is option number 4. So this was all about this set. Thank you to all of you.